Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your sixth HTML tutorial. And uh, in the last couple tutorials, we've been learning how to add text to our web pages, format text, make it look nice, um, add headers, and stuff like that. So I figured in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add hyperlinks to external websites and web pages, um, including web pages on your own site if you want. Um, and we're going to learn how to make those uh, from text. And also, uh, there are other types of hyperlinks that you can do, um, basically internally. Um, you'll see these on Wikipedia, and it's basically to jump from one section to another of a website, especially if there's a lot of cont content on the page and you have to scroll down a lot. So we'll learn about those in the next tutorial. Um, you'll see them on like Wikipedia and stuff like that. So let's get into this. Um, so we'll set up our page here with H our HTML tags. And by the way, I already saved this as external hyperlinks.html on the desktop, um, just to save a little bit of time. But if you don't know how to do that yet, or you aren't sure what we're talking about, or want to learn how to add text and stuff like that, feel free to check out some of my previous videos, um, and that's where we explain that. So we'll add our header here. And within that, we're going to add our title. And we'll just call this page external hyperlinks. And let's get into the body here. All right. So let's just uh, add some text here to our page. We'll say google.com. Come over here to Firefox and refresh the page. And you'll see that if we click on google.com, it's just regular text. Nothing will happen. It'll get highlighted. Uh, and if we right click on it, we don't see much. So, well, we don't have the option to actually visit the page because it's not linked yet. So um, clicking on it will do nothing except highlight it. So what we want to do is make it so that we can click on it and have it take us to take it take us to the Google website. So what we can one way we can do that is by using the a tag, and it looks just like this, and it has a closing tag as well. Um, and if you omit the closing a tag, you'll actually have every piece of text and image and whatever you have on your website will be linked, um, and that's not something you want. It's similar to a font tag and stuff like that, where if you omit it, the closing tag, everything will um, you know sort of get the properties of the tag. So the a tag is what we use to link text, and within that we have an attribute called href. And similar to the font tag and like the color attribute and um, the face attribute, you need an equal sign and some uh, quotation marks here. And within the quotation marks is where you're going to put the website that you want to link to. So href stands for hypertext reference, and that's basically, I guess, a way of saying what you're referencing on the internet. And a stands for anchor. So um, within here, we can put for Google.com, if we want to link it, we can put HTTP a colon and then two forward slashes. Uh, and it's important that you have the HTTP, otherwise the link won't work right. Um, and then we can type in google.com. So right now, we've created the link for google.com, but we haven't actually linked any text. So if we come over here, you'll notice, oops. If you come over here, you'll notice that we have nothing on the page yet other than our google.com that we created. So in order to link to google.com, what we can do is we can actually say, just type in google.com. And this right here is what's going to be linked. This is going to be take, taken basically to this website when you click on it. So if we save this, come on over and refresh, you'll notice that we have a second google.com link. Let me just uh, space that out. Using some BR tags. All right, here we go. So this is the regular text, and this is the linked google.com text with google.com being here in the website that it's being taken to when clicked here or the websites that's being referenced. So if we come over here and we click on google.com you'll notice that Google will come up and it'll be in the same page that uh, the same window or browser tab that you have open. Um, and there's a way we, we can actually make it open in a new tab if you want to. And one way to do that um, actually before we get to that let me just show you that you can actually have any text here. It doesn't have to be google.com. You can type in search engine, save it, come on over here and refresh, and it'll still link to google.com because the, the hypertext reference, um, the attribute is set to google.com. So anything, you can type in anything here. It can be, it can be I don't know, uh, click here. And if we come over and refresh, oops, refresh Google, uh, it'll still take us to google.com. And you can actually uh, copy the link location here and paste and go and you'll notice that it is google.com so um, we can actually change the way we open it if we don't want it to open in a new uh, in a the current tab say you have a website and you want visitors to remain on your website but still go to the website that you linked to 
Um, there's a way to do that, and that's we can do that by using the target attribute. I'm just going to reset this right here. So, like the color, uh, or like the font tag, rather, we can have more than one attribute. Like, let's say in the font tag you had the face attribute, and you had the color attribute, and you could use them both at the same time. So, in the anchor tag, we can do the same exact thing. And um, the way that we can get the web page to open in a new window or new browser tab, depending on the browser they're using, is by using the target attribute. And uh, just like any other attribute here, we need to have an equal sign and some quotation marks. In, if we wanted to open in a new tab or new window, all I need to do is type in underscore blank. So what, is, what this link right now is basically saying is that we have an anchor tag that's referencing google.com. So whatever text is in here is going to go to google.com. It's pointing to Google. And then the target, or where it's going to open, is blank, meaning a new, a new page. So we refresh that. Come on over here, refresh. You'll notice that when we click on google.com, it'll open us up in a new tab here. And that's convenient for, say, if you have a website and you don't want visitors to leave it, or you want to open up a new page or something um, where the two are related or something like that. There's a bunch of different things you can do. But it's, it's useful for if you want to keep the original website open. So just a little trick that you can use to do that. Um, let's come back over to our code here. Uh, you can actually link more than one thing. You can type in google.com is a great website, just to, again to show you that you don't need to have the the, t the website that you're linking to um, to be there. So if we save that, come on over and refresh, you'll notice that google.com is a great website and it opens in a new tab. So it's a, it's a great thing to use. If you want to say include a hyperlink in the middle of a sentence, you can do that. Um, just demonstrate for you. We can say, hey, please go to, and then we can set up our hyperlink tag, ahref equals, and then we'll type in Google, oops, we forgot our HTTP, it's very important to have that. Close that, and then we'll type in Google, and remember we have to close our hyperlink tag, our anchor tag here, otherwise all the text in the sentence will also be linked, and that's not something you want, unless if, unless you want it, I guess. Um, please go to Google. It's a great search engine. And if we save that and come on over and refresh, uh, you'll notice that only Google is linked, and it'll open it up. Ooh, it didn't open it in a new tab because I didn't include the uh, target blank. So underscore blank, and that'll open it up in a blank page or blank tab. Um, so there we go. Now it'll open up in a new tab, and we have three Googles open, so it's um, just a good thing to practice. And so let's say here now that we want to link to a page within our website. Um, so what we'll do for this is we'll create a new uh, new HTML page. We'll save it as, we'll call it page.html, and we'll save it as hypertext markup language. And if we create our HTML tags here real quick, uh, Head. Uh, we'll omit the head for right now. We don't need that. Body. Body. All right. So right now we have a blank page called page.html, um, and we'll just say right here. We'll call it. This is a second page. So we'll, we'll save that up here. And what we'll do is for our hyperlinks. If let's say we want to link to the same page here. And um, page.html is actually in the same folder. It's in the desktop. Um, we can kind of consider that a folder as the original document. So what we can do for this, uh, we might go over this in some more detail in another tutorial, but I'll just figure I'll show you this right now. We can link to it a href equals dot slash, and then we can type in page.html. And what this is, what this dot slash forward slash is uh, means basically the directory. So if we do that, we can type in open page.html and this is just uh, just to show you what you can do with it so if we um, we save this out here come over here and refresh and we click on this it'll open up the second page um, and that's because it's in the same directory the dot basically specifies the directory um, if you have multiple directories you, there's things you can do like dot dot slash and dot dot slash you know stuff like that dot dot slash and it'll open it up depending on the directory so uh, this is basically basic kind of directory structure. So it's a just a cool thing to have if you want to link to, if you're building a whole website and you want to have multiple pages and link to them, as long as the website is in the same folder, um, you just need to type in dot slash, and then you can type in whatever it is, like contact.html, and then it'll link it to the contact page. Just a, just a way to stop you from having to type in the location, like 
Ooh, I don't know what I did. Just a way to stop you from having to type in the location of the thing, like the whole. Uh, let me show you. Instead of typing in this, you can just type in dot slash page, and uh, it'll take you to the page website or web page without having to type this whole structure in. However, if you were, it would still work. Uh, a href equals this, and then we can close that out and type in click here, and it'll open it up in a new page. Oops, didn't link anything to it. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. External. I know why. Here we go. I didn't refresh the page. So it'll take you to the same thing, um, but it's just a lot easier to type in dot slash page. Anyway, this is um, external hyperlinks. In the next tutorial, we'll be going over um, basically internal hyperlinks or how to jump from section to section on a website. I uh, see this a lot on Wikipedia because the articles are so big and um, it's just easier to click on links to take you to whatever you're interested in reading and not necessarily the whole article. So please feel free to check that out. Um, also feel free to follow me on Twitter on tw at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, the Technical Cafe Twitter is twitter.com slash technicalcafe. And as always, feel free to head over to the Technical Cafe website for tech news, tips, tricks, reviews, articles, stuff like that. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for these tutorials, please feel free to send me an email using the contact page on Technical Cafe. Uh, you can also send me an at reply, or feel free to just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.